we are on a, uh, on a Cuban bus. We're here with the whole entire crew. We just literally had to flag down this bus, and it's uh, one of the local buses which we weren't able to take last time we were here. Anyways, we're heading back to the town of Vinales that we were in the other day, and uh, when we get there, we're gonna get up to some adventures. So this guy on the bus just gave Allison a lemon or a lime, and we found out that this actually helps you with car sickness. You have to jump out of this bus. <laughs> that is hilarious. The bus we were riding in. This is literally a GMC truck. Just turned into a bus in the back. Alrighty, well Cuba's starting us off to a pretty hectic morning already. Uh, we're in the town of Vinales now and we're going to look for a place to stay. And, gracias amigo. Uh, and then we're gonna explore this town a little bit maybe do some hiking in the next few days we're gonna plan on chilling here for a little bit because this is a pretty relaxing place to be all right so this area might look familiar to you we we're actually here just two days ago and this restaurant might even look more familiar to you because we just ate here the other day and these people actually offered us a place to stay now we're gonna take them up on the offer Okay, we've been given directions. Now uh, apparently someone's gonna walk us the rest of the way like last time. I don't know, we're just walking down the street following directions. We were told to, to like turn somewhere by a gas station. I'm not really sure. So this is our guy that arrived. He's just riding a scooter really slowly in front of us. And he's guiding us the way there. Here's the house. We've made it. Hola, como estas? Bien ustedes. <laughs> Never mind that. That one. Wasn't the house. That's the house. <laughs> At least I think, I don't know what's going on anymore. Cuba confuses me sometimes. So we've just uh, checked into what is called a Casa Particulares. Um, I just want to take a second. Let's just pause here. Uh, I, let's thank Eric uh, for showing us that really anyone can smile. It, you can have it. And that's something that happens at least uniquely in Cuba. I don't know if it happens in other countries, but you basically come here and people on the side of the street will stop you and be like, hey, would you like to stay at my place? Would you like to stay at my house? When we first got to Vinales the other day, people were coming up to us on the street saying, we'll offer you a place to stay for $15 uh, for a room. So basically we went around town and we kind of grabbed different prices and the set price was 15 kook so we got two awesome rooms and uh we're staying with a family this is a house pretty much and they're opening this up for tourism so a lot of people can come stay here and do activities in the town itself and we each we each have a bed to ourselves and it's only five dollars all right we have dropped off all our crap in the house and we are going on a mission to find something delicious to drink slash eat maybe Let's go, let's go explore Vinales, baby. Here they come. Yummy. Here they are. Hey, I know that place. This is Tall's place. I live there. This is where Tall lives. Did you guys know that? He's from Miami. Real vibe, what's up? Seriously guys, water is not that easy to come by in Cuba. It's like a mission every time we try to get a bottle and they usually don't have that much water. So make sure you stay hydrated here because it's really hot. Guys, check out this freaking sign. Traditional Cuban and international food. Wi-Fi, really? All right, it is Cuban coffee time. Jacqueline Perez. All right, it's collective coffee time for everyone. Who's excited for some Cuban coffee? <laughs> Look at this guy, he's doing jazz hands. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got a cortado, which is like the classic Cuban coffee. And this thing will, will wake you up pretty pretty hard. This thing's like a shot of adrenaline in a little cup. Mm, that is really good. Guys, check it out, we were just walking around Vinales and we found our car that drove us here the other day. It's the same guy, same driver, same car from Havana. Our badass old nine-person Jeep. Yeah. So check it out, I just got my first cigar in Cuba. Purchased it myself, it wasn't free. And I haggled a little deal. The guy was offering 
one for one dollar. But I said, no, I want them for two dollars, two for one dollar. And it's like, it just shows you, you gotta haggle because the second I said I was walking, he immediately said, it's yours, just take it. You gotta haggle when you come here because it sucks to say it, but everybody's trying to screw you one end or the other. So we've been on the mission to find a little tobacco plantation. Maybe we can learn about it, walk through, get some cool pictures for the old Instagram. But uh, all, we're, all we're seeing here is a corn. And I don't want a corn. We're taking a walk in the middle of nowhere to get to a tobacco farm that Josh found on his phone somehow through the maps that you have, right? Maps.me, baby. And that's it. And uh, we're just heading out into this beautiful little field. We're in a farm. The view is incredible. The weather's really nice. These mountains are absolutely gorgeous. So we're taking aid from these little kids that appeared. <laughs> this guy's a little barefoot boy. And uh, we're confusingly trying to get instructions whether to go down a river or a private property. To get to the tobacco farm. Is okay though, so yeah. I think we're gonna give it a try. Let's we'll see what happens. All right, under the barbed wire fence. We're all, as a group, really reassured that nobody really cares that we're passing through here, even though it's definitely a house or a farm of somebody. Look at what these kids have to go to to go to school and home. This is nuts. This is like a hike. If she says it rains, you just gotta get some wood and cross over. Nice. And remember, this one kid's still doing it barefoot. So. Guys, look, we're at, sorry. Juan Luis's Luisi is uh I was, I was joking. We're at a we made it right out of the plantation. We just had a very long walk to here, but we all good, the view's beautiful. That's all that really matters. We're pulling up to it right now and we're probably gonna take a tour. Well look what me and Karina found when we came in here. Staircase ladder thing. And then you're on a tower. That whole stretch of mountains behind me is the Vinales mountain range so hopefully we'll be hiking there tomorrow which will be badass guys they have a bunch of farm animals going around here this is this little goose duck thing hey duck hey come here they had a little goat back there a little baby goat running around <laughs> all right so a man grabbed us from the outside and said this tour was free which i'm not buying but maybe it is i'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt but they're gonna show us around the tobacco plantation a little bit. The tobacco is October to February. October to February is the dry season. It's better for the tobacco plants. The tobacco plants take one natural oil and this protection the leaf. A lot of rain season finish the oil and this no good quality the leaf. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand my English? Yeah. Yes. My English. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> good tobacco seeds. Mm -hmm. One seed is a one plant. Come, lady, for you like this. One seed is one Whoa. plant. Oh my goodness. Do you, like smoke, do you like smoke one cigar here? Yes or yes? Honey. After the recollection, after the dry, all the nicotine the leaf go to the narrow center of the leaf. In the narrow center of the leaf is 98% of the nicotine. Remove 98% of the nicotine for compost. For prepare one cigar is the three part. The one part, the first part, the name is filler, binder, and wrapper. Dile que el limón de mango. Muchi. Finish the cigar. Not ready for the smoke. Then put in the paper five hours and this is more humid. So we, uh, we just exited the tobacco plantation. Uh, Josh taught me how to smoke a cigar. I'm probably still really bad at it. But we're just taking some Instagrams and chilling some cool slow-mo of us walking around with the cigars. Wow, what another Cuban day. But tomorrow is gonna be even more wild 
We're gonna go hiking like I mentioned in Vinales in the mountains, which is gonna be super sick. But anyhow, my, my friends and, and uh, pals, Cuba's been wild. It's been a really crazy experience. And I want sometime this week to sit down and kind of sum up a lot of the ideas and thoughts that are going through my head, like, like positively and in a controlled environment where I can really get it all out and think about it. So look forward to that. So I will, I will do that. And I'll see you guys next time I make a video. Uh, love you a long time. Make sure that if you're new here, you subscribe and turn on that little notification button so I can chase you down every time I upload a freaking video. And if you feel like supporting this channel, you can check out my Patreon down below. I got cool rewards and such. See you guys next time. Goodbye.